Okay, dear colleagues, uh, today uh, I'm going to present our, uh, the results of our collaborative work. Uh, our work was performed in collaboration with two universities. Uh, my name is Daniel Shukhevich from the uh, University of Informatics and Radio Electronics, and uh, my colleague is uh, from the Russian State University. Uh, today we are going to tell you about uh, interpolation of uh, computer algebra tools and uh, applications of open semantic. Uh, uh, the main uh, direction of work of our department of our scientific uh, school is the uh, uh, development of ecosystem of intelligent computer systems of a new generation, or in other words, uh, what's, this, what's this ecosystem? Uh, within this ecosystem, we are going to integrate uh, a lot of different approaches, uh, different models, methods, and so on. Uh, so today we will uh, discuss one of the results of our work. Uh, some words about the computer algebra at all. Uh, in such fundamental scientific direction like computer algebra uh, has been uh, developing since the middle of the 20th century. Uh, there are a lot of uh, terms uh, describing this field, uh, symbolic calculations, uh, and so on, as you can see on uh, our slide. Uh, but for now, the main product of uh, computer al algebra uh, is uh, our computer algebra system. Uh, they are powerful systems uh, which can uh, solve uh, a lot of uh, different tasks in zero algebra and not only algebra. Uh, uh, on the other side, um, uh, the modern state of information technologies is that uh, we need to uh, integrate different approaches. Uh, yes, we have a lot of uh, success in different fields, uh, in uh, neural networks, in uh, logics, in uh, different uh, programming language, languages and so on. Uh, but to solve really complex tests, we need to uh, integrate different approaches and we need uh, a unified platform for that. And so uh, our department, our scientific school, as I said before, uh, we are working on the creation of uh, a complex technology for supporting the life cycle of a new generation intelligent computer systems. Uh, we develop a formal basis for knowledge representation for problem uh, solving models, uh, unification, and uh, so on. Uh, so, the, uh, one of the uh, main problems we are trying to solve is the problem of uh, semantic compatibility uh, with other related results. Uh, now, I have no time to uh, tell you more about our work, but uh, in uh, uh, every year we spend a uh, conference uh, which is named Post Open Semantic Technology for Intelligent Systems, uh, on which we present our main results uh, in this field. Uh, uh, for now, uh, in this work, we, had, uh, we will show you uh, one uh, examples of integration of uh, open semantic technologies with uh, other modern technologies. Of course, we uh, cannot just drop out other, uh, any other results in uh, other space, so we need uh, to integrate, to unify uh, different uh, results in other spheres in, uh, on the base of uh, our unified uh, bundle. So in our work, we'll tell about uh, integration of computer algebra systems and uh, open semantic. Um, uh, when we are talking about uh, the integrations, there are uh, several ways of that integration. Of course, we can integrate uh, different systems like we do uh, at nowadays, uh, just using special APIs uh, or uh, developing special uh, models which will integrate uh, different systems. Uh, in according to the uh, unified platform of uh, open semantic technologies, uh, there are uh, three main ways. Uh, now we will uh, talk about that. Uh, 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 the three ways uh, are, um, may be used not only for computer and algebra systems. Uh, the same situation is uh, uh, with other uh, modern technologies, models. Uh, for example, uh, as you can see here, uh, one of our important work is uh, 
uh, is directed on the integration of uh, artificial neural networks uh, into OSD systems, uh, that means systems based on open semantic technologies. Uh, but today we are talking about computer algebra, and uh, let's uh, consider the three ways. Yeah. Uh, the first way is integration according to the black box principle. Uh, that means that uh, external systems uh, stay being external, uh, and we use only uh, some program interface to interact with this uh, external system. Uh, the main advantage is uh, that, that if, uh, this is the easiest way uh, to try some idea, uh, for example, to integrate with computer algorithms. Uh, it, um, <coughs> but uh, in the same time, uh, there is a, a Great disadvantage that the uh, external system stays in black box. We uh, can only use some features of this external system, but uh, our main system doesn't understand anything about uh, the external system. Uh, the next way, uh, the second way is uh, closed integration, when uh, specific functions and, uh, still remain part of uh, external system, in our case of uh, CIS, computer algebra system. Uh, but we can describe uh, in our knowledge base some features of that external system. Uh, so our main intelligence system uh, can be able to uh, manage uh, problem solving process and to use some uh, features in uh, the order it knows it was. And the next place, uh, and the last one way is uh, uh, full integration. When we uh, all the used functions of a computer algebra system are translated into the internal language of our uh, semantic system. Uh, the main disadvantage uh, is that uh, it's the most laborious uh, way. Uh, of course, it's very uh, hard, so we need a lot of time, a lot of resources. Uh, but there are a lot of important advantages of that way, um, like um, uh, parallel processing, uh, possibility of multi user. Um, uh, possibility to optimize the plan of uh, problem solving and so on. Uh, in uh, our current work, we uh, are going step by step and we use the first way of integration. We use a, a black box option uh, just to uh, prove our idea about integration of computer algebra systems and uh, semantic systems. Uh, Okay, we, uh, I have talked about an idea, and now we should uh, say something about our results, about uh, a concrete sphere of application of our idea. Uh, an idea of integration of computer algebra and uh, semantic systems. Uh, we have selected uh, the sphere of uh, intelligent teaching systems. Uh, why this? Because uh, most of us work in uh, universities, so we uh, with the students, they have a lot of good experience about uh, teaching, and um, according to our department, we have a good experience in uh, development of uh, intelligent teaching systems in uh, different uh, spheres. Uh, in geometry, in graphic theory, physics, and so on. Uh, in application with uh, computer algebra systems, we collected uh, graph theory sphere. Uh, because uh, we use all from Mathematica, uh, CIS, uh, and it, it has a lot of features in uh, graph theory itself. Uh, as I said, we uh, have chosen a uh, black, box, black box option, uh, but uh, we especially know that the indicated integration options are not mutually uh, exclusive and can be combined. For now, we uh, need to prove our idea. We use black box and uh, and then we step by step uh, can uh, make our integration deeper and deeper, uh, describe different features of uh, CIS in OSI uh, system and so on. Uh, uh, now, some words about uh, and read, uh, for, for a small conclusion, and then we will show some, some examples. Um, uh, 
Uh, as I told, for now we uh, work with uh, both from mathematical system uh, and uh, trying to show up our results in sphere of uh, learning system or in discrete mathematics. Uh, how does it work for now? Uh, in uh, learning mostly system, we can describe some uh, uh, in uh, SCG form that's form suitable for uh, the system and then uh, translate it into internal representation of uh, both from mathematica and uh, solve different problems uh, using our our graph. Uh, for that, we use a uh, appropriate software interface. Uh, in our article, there are uh, necessary links uh, for this interfaces. For now, we use uh, C++. Uh, uh, on the slide, we uh, didn't show graph in the uh, form of quantity system. Uh, we think that uh, we uh, have drawn our graph and then translated it into uh, from the internal language. Uh, that looks like uh, this. Mm, this form is suitable for uh, internal representation, but uh, as I think, not for uh, end user. Yes, it's not very uh, good thing. Uh, so, that's instead internal representation of uh, our graph. There are lattices vertex and uh, edges. Uh, then we can use different uh, features of Wolfram Mathematica to uh, visualize some of uh, Here we can see the simplest one. Uh, as you can see, in our graph there are vertices, uh, directed uh, edges, and directed edges, uh, and so on. Our graph is uh, Another feature uh, we can use edge labels, as we uh, see here. Um, a nice example of a uh, different style of uh, matrices uh, visualization, like uh, circles. And different kinds of uh, layout. Uh, with no layout and with uh, one of possible layouts. Uh, then we can, uh, uh, here we can see a uh, combined variant uh, with uh, vertices labels and uh, edge labels. That's one piece. Uh, and this is the same, but with uh, layout. Uh, we have shown different examples of uh, visualization of graph, and now uh, some examples of uh, problem solution. Uh, I think everybody knows that uh, what is the uh, problem of uh, fine shortest pass. So, of course, Wolfram Mathematica is able to solve this uh, problem on the uh, graph issue. As you see, uh, between matrices 1 and uh, uh, our graph, uh, the 1 and the uh, matrices, as you can see, the path is here. And the results of uh, Wolfram Mathematica in text form and in uh, as well. Uh, and some words about uh, uh, some words for conclusion. Uh, so uh, for now, we have performed uh, the first step of integration. We try to use uh, program interface, and uh, as you can see, we uh, we achieved our goal. We reduced uh, the laborness of uh, uh, intelligent uh, teaching systems uh, development. We can use uh, ready made uh, functions of uh, Wolfram Mathematica and uh, but describe uh, all the necessary information in our knowledge base. So we uh, integrate both approaches and uh, achieve uh, correspondence and benefits. Uh, in future, we uh, plan um, to use uh, other features of uh, Wolfram Mathematica. It contains for now. Uh, only on the form of the system that is uh, exhausted functions for now. Uh, but not only more from the medica, there are lots of uh, other systems like uh, Wolfram Alpha, mm. which uh, has even uh, created its own knowledge base. Uh, there is a special tool from language to describe uh, not only medical structures, but uh, any other. So uh, the future integration uh, looks very uh, 
Uh, well, I, I think uh, I've talked about it. <coughs> so now we have made the first step and the future we can uh, make this integration deeper and deeper. Our paper examines the principle of uh, possible implementations of such integration and uh, provides. Uh, thank you very much for the questions. Thank you. Thank you. I have a question that is connected with uh, uh, this uh, function, uh, function time shortest path. Are you know how many things that you use in this function? I uh, have this question for my colleague. Um, which algorithm is used uh, within this function? Only one function. Only three bots. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no, no, it's enough. No, no, no. To solve problem. Because there are uh, there as there are many algorithms and I think it's not problem. Okay, it's not, it's not If problem. you want, uh, I can, you can, uh, I can uh, control uh, the steps of solution. System control. Thank you. I have one question. Uh, we will speak about uh, consultations yes, with you and with uh, Vasilievich. And uh, okay, uh, for example, my main the main machine to yes, and the output of my uh, scientific work uh, are Python scripts, uh, for mm -hmm. example, and the models uh, saved in file. Yes, uh, describe me the process how I can integrate my result into into your uh, ecosystem. Is it just a simple way, for example, I upload uh, all files and everything will be done automatically without my involvement, or I need additional uh, development stage, yes, using your internal language for specific for your system, yes, and only after this stage, uh, only uh, after deep understanding your system, I will uh, integrate my uh, intelligent block into your ecosystem. Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, a small unit of uh, advertisement at the end of my end. What about the advertisement? Uh, and I said in uh, our slides, uh, we uh, have works in the field of integration of artificial learning networks and uh, what is it? <coughs> and uh, in October, maybe at the beginning of November, there will be a uh, reprotection of our uh, base students, uh, which work, uh, his work is devoted to the integration of uh, ANN and uh, other systems. And uh, as I told, there are three main equations uh, of the step by step integration. Uh, the first step is very simple. Uh, your Python scripts uh, stay the same, but we uh, describe your models in our own interface. For uh, when uh, our system is fine to solve any problem, uh, um, it is able to use this specification uh, to know uh, which uh, type of problem uh, will be solved by your model. Is it your part uh, of? Um, you, you. you started okay. and, uh, and you read, but um, there is no need to uh, integrate it deeper for now. But if, uh, if we uh, try to lay on network uh, with internal only base, we are able to analyze the internal architecture, optimize it, uh, analyze uh, its work, and so on. So we uh, then deeper in the integration, then more just Thank you, thank you very much. Any questions? Thank you a lot. Thank you. Uh, the next uh, speech will be about model for detection algorithm based on multi threshold fault model. Yes, please let me let me introduce yourself. Okay, but mm -hmm. uh, oh. Right, right, right. Thank you, Professor Sam Oler, that we are chairman of the Visual Office Group. My colleague is a low motion picture, I mean, she said, our motion is called Homo. Well, I'm sorry, that's again with you. 
Uh, today I will share with you uh, my data from the three uh, uh, parties. Uh, as the number of people living alone and the older uh, people in, in question, a good for detection of this work is very necessary. So, uh, there are, uh, no, there, there, are, there are many uh, at least more uh, for detection uh, methods. That our video sensors uh, not, uh, I think the video sensors is more commonly our daily life. Uh, so I chose the smartphone accelerometer uh, sensors because uh, there are uh, no everyone has smartphone, no every smart smartphone uh, have uh, accelerometer. Uh, the, the picture is uh, the, the advice of a uh, uh, motor sensor for the full detection of it was set on smartphone accelerometer. Uh, at least the uh, full detection, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this, this uh, was the uh, of a full detection uh, video. Uh, it, it, said, it said our video for detection is a traditional, uh, traditional full detection. Uh, yes. uh, I will uh, provide the, the, the exact explanation for uh, this method in the full. Uh, 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 this is the project of uh, our uh, 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 model. Uh, first, uh, we contacted from the smartphone and cellular sensor. Uh, the agent starts uh, with the uh, digital processes uh, flow uh, by fusion uh, section. And uh, uh, finally, uh, with uh, the full detection of the model uh, motel system. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, in, in this study, we use uh, this for uh, public dissect. Uh, uh, the the, the dissect, the uh, sample frequency is uh, 200 records. Uh, there are uh, 38 uh, subjects, uh, including, including uh, 19, uh, including 19 daily activities, uh, and uh, including uh, 54 activities. Uh, detail uh, parameters. Uh, are shown in the two. Uh, uh, the, the, the two pictures is uh, uh, examples. Uh, the, the, uh, in our in our set, uh, the uh, that picture shows the sig uh, signal of uh, holding uh, and the before uh, the after uh, futures. Uh, the red uh, picture uh, shows shows the uh, daily activity uh, before and after future. Uh, I think uh, the uh, metric is uh, very, very important. Uh, so, uh, in this frequency, we use the uh, first order low path future, uh, low, uh, low path backwards future, uh, to uh, uh, analyze and uh, uh, determine the half of frequency and the future selection. Uh, the following uh, uh, metrics we, uh, we are uh, concerned. Uh, I will choose the uh, the from this uh, this picture. Uh, the is the method of each metric. PT, SNR, MFT, RMT, R squared, N individual, and the M A M T. This is this is a uh, uh, some uh, this is examples uh, where uh, we uh, select uh, three signal. Uh, for the analyst, it says uh, one daily uh, activity and the two for a force. We can see that the bus was increased uh, and the date uh, grows uh, greater, uh, increased. Uh, in this picture, uh, I try to segmentation uh, the dates into frequent spans. Uh, and the uh, and the computer and the computer the energy ratio uh, as shown in this in the picture uh, five to uh, two ten plus uh, frequency the energy become very small because uh, I think uh, uh, many information uh, in uh, zero to uh, two five. Uh, 
is being endangered by breaking spats, as can be seen from the the, the endanger is the endanger is mainly uh, concentrated in uh, zero to uh, backwards breaking uh, The uh, it, it indicates uh, that uh, human activity uh, human acti activity uh, fully activity within uh, zero to backward situation, we can see it's the local fluid uh, cut off uh, purpose uh, is uh, backward. Uh, in, in this picture, uh, I compared uh, the uh, three uh, futures, part one, case I teach you. We can see uh, the part ones uh, always the best and the uh, beta uh, second uh, to part ones and championships in the uh, group. So uh, I choose the uh, part ones uh, is in outside futures. Uh, uh, but uh, then I use the MSD, MSRE, uh, energy uh, ratio, judging uh, our selection future tips and orders. And the story is uh, uh, actually not. Yes. Uh, I think, I think uh, that's something uh, is very important in our study because at a sample frequency uh, 200 uh, and uh, too high. Uh, for our daily uh, activity. So uh, I, 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 I selected the best uh, subtopic uh, frequency. I think uh, I this uh, approach has uh, first is a uh, zero loaded, uh, the uh, section, the uh, documentation, the uh, low hard future, the subtopic. Which is the, the uh, basically different uh, frequency plans uh, as uh, as shown in the in the picture. We can see the uh, the uh, spam to uh, spam to uh, for fifteen. Uh, and they have many information. Uh, and uh, this is the uh, different uh, activities uh, for uh, we are running uh, uh, MIT uh, uh, SNI uh, other uh, art together. Uh, we, we can choose uh, uh, it's uh, uh, from uh, 5 to 15 uh, so it's uh, not mentioned and the uh, other activity Uh, the the, the pictures is uh, all the activity we can see uh, uh, all the picture uh, show us uh, yeah the fact or the uh, have many information with the above uh, above the uh, picture at the, the table we can uh, we can we can see uh, our minimum frequency. So the minimum frequency is uh, 15, so uh, 35 points. Uh, in, in, in this, in this uh, we compare the, the dates before and after the so, uh, When there are different searches, minimum value, it uh, shows that the date is, the something factor is uh, a very close uh, or original signal. Uh, uh, at least the best of the picture is 10, 10, 10, 10. So uh, I choose the picture is 10 in uh, our study. Uh, I also uh, I also use the uh, flat air track for to compare to compare the difference. Between the dump dates and the uh, original dates uh, in different uh, uh, activities. So, this is not show us the best achieved uh, uh, the when vector is 10. Uh, vector is 10 is, 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 vector is, 10 is the ocean, uh, the difference is also small, and uh, the uh, mean is uh, zero. Uh, the, yes. And uh, uh, the 
the other activity, go where you can next. And uh, I have the activity. Sorry, uh, uh, the picture is turning, it's very, very good. Uh, uh, about about uh, at, uh, a picture, we choose the done something. The picture is turning. Uh, no, everyone said she had research on the full, uh, the full recognition algorithm instead of uh, modern Swiss codes. Next. I choose the, the future. Uh, it's our, uh, the core uh, takes, takes our uh, Swiss code. Next. Next. Uh, uh, we request the maximum value uh, of the books for the. Uh, we can see the uh, the, uh, the left picture is uh, no uh, is uh, for activity uh, normal maximized uh, value. Uh, also, also uh, uh, activity is very small and for activity is very very high. Um, yeah, uh, either is the uh, uh, horizontal gap uh, activity, uh, axiological value. Yes. Uh, uh, we the simple maximum value of Fox code as a physical grade, uh, equal the uh, equal the uh, uh, window and the horizontal gap and the total axiological value. Uh, next, uh, we uh, can be different Swiss, uh, Swiss, uh, Swiss codes uh, to find FLR and uh, FPR, the uh, intersection of the two uh, careers uh, in best uh, Swiss code. Now we can see the best Swiss code uh, at the right. At the same time, we analyze the LC. Uh, uh, records and uh, we can see the effect uh, adding angles is very high than uh, of the single threshold. Uh, this uh, this is all show the different threshold uh, accuracy. Uh, we can we can see the uh, the result shows the accuracy in, in high. We uh, when uh, multi threshold uh, are used in uh, Combination, you can see at the, uh, the best. Yes. The combination. Uh, following uh, are very important uh, in uh, EG population, uh, impact uh, the uh, safety and the confidence uh, reports, uh, intervention can uh, improve our quality in our lab. Uh, so so our, our, our study, uh, is our study, the young studies results uh, show us the multi stress port detection mechanism achieve uh, a uh, high accuracy. Uh, in the future, I, I want to uh, do uh, stress port instead of physical activity. I don't I only uh, boy and ball. So in the future, I want uh, uh, I want uh, recognition uh, working running is the study. Uh, and the, the energy exchange of the difficulty, uh, I think, is very important for human health. Thank you. 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 Everyone is smart for you know, a little bit uh, more uh, sensors at the uh, in, in the And uh, one question. Uh, you spoke a lot about the processing stage yeah. of feature extraction, yes, and for decision making you use threshold approach, yes. Uh, are you going to try something else for the decision making uh, or your threshold is enough? What do you think? Uh, uh, I think. Think about that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. okay thank you. Uh, the next uh, picture will be. Uh,
Post-dis-related uh, report that my uh, Belarusian State University's colleague uh, already uh, presented to you, and yes, it is. It's like a more practical implementation. Uh, we will dive into the integration question. And uh, please, next slide. Uh, yeah. So uh, the main topic for today will be the integration of a local intelligent computer system uh, with the knowledge base of Wolfram Mathematica computer algebra system. And uh, this example uh, can be seen as an analog of actions <coughs> of uh, localization of knowledge bases. And the next is, yeah, uh, four major points today. Uh, <coughs> first, we will talk a little about temporal markers uh, analysis. Then uh, we'll show you how the data can be prepared. We'll prepare the data set for the uh, Wolfram data repository. It's a uh, global repository of data that can be seen as a like, global knowledge base. And uh, uh, I will, like, maybe I will shorten the thing to WDA. Correctly. Okay. Then we will talk about like, creating a thematic block for this uh, temporal marker analysis and uh, see how to use the proposed approach to actually provide the functional completeness of uh, temporal marker extraction tools. So, temporal block marker analysis. Uh, as you know, information processing is a very large field. Uh, it contains like, dozens of uh, uh, directions, and one of these directions, like, a huge direction, is a semantic analysis. It uh, helps uh, like, to well, analyze the information and extract uh, the data, the meaningful data for us, for the like, further usage. And, uh, it helps and it implements such uh, methods like, for example, document search, no matter of the previous like document search, automatic annotation, text extracting, uh, classification, clustering, text synthesis, and machine uh, translation, and of course, uh, tone analysis and fact extraction. And uh, the facts extraction, well, you know what it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this. Uh, but uh, extracting the fact from the data is not uh, everything we want. We also want to somehow understand like, the context of the events. Uh, so basically, each fact can and is uh, related, is placed on the <coughs> temporal axis, right? So, uh, be it uh, present, future, or uh, the past. So basically, localization in time of the event is crucial for information analysis. And uh, here comes the temporal markers. It's uh, one of the ways to express the time of the event. And it can basically, like in texts, in data, it can represent, be represented in many uh, ways. And the main goal of uh, temporal markers analysis is to represent and uh, interpret these markers uh, within the framework of the formal model that is used during the its uh, analysis. For example, you can use the common ISO 8605 uh, standard for maybe your internal in, uh, representation, but uh, the main goal is to get the data and 
represent it the way you need. So next, please. Uh, one of the like global the popular tools for uh, entity recognition and uh, text extraction is uh, Microsoft Universe Text uh, MRT. So it uh, provides the ability to recognize entities in text in various languages, uh, but excluding Russian and Belarusian for that. Uh, it is distributed under an open source MIT license and uh, is actually a free software. And uh, they are a GitHub repository, here is the link. It provides uh, the test data sets uh, which can be used to, well, verify the completeness of the tools. Um, next, please. Uh, so, the cool. Speaking about temporal markers extraction, in uh, this library we have a module named Data Extraction. Extractor. And this module has uh, contains about 100 elements tests to verify to check uh, the marker, temporal marker extraction tools. Uh, this date, uh, these elements contains both the metadata, the results which are expected to be extracted, and of course the input, uh, the absolute, which is contains absolute for relative dates in different forms in English. And uh, of course, uh, the temporal marker, if we talk about the relative date, not the absolute. Uh, so the example of relative date is today, yesterday, or three months later. Uh, we also have to have a reference date to convert it into an absolute uh, temporal marker. Yeah, here is the example of uh, the test data set element. It's pretty straightforward. Next, please. So, when testing and uh, tuning in fact extraction tools, uh, we want not only to have a like, plain, unambiguous uh, extraction of entities, we also want to focus on recognition. It means that sometimes in our initial data, uh, there can be some mistakes, errors, misspells, and uh, other yeah, errors uh, that can affect the that can affect uh, the results of the extraction. Uh, so basically, the MRT library it actually does not allow to fully analyze the functionality for the corresponding tool because it doesn't have any uh, mutated or distorted data. And uh, the goal was to create the new data set that will allow us to do this. And here we go, preparing the test data set. Uh, we took the initial 100, 143 elements and uh, processed them so that we uh, distorted the initial input text uh, and introduced some errors, some uh, these files of the words, uh, of course, related to the dates, for example, uh, day of the week name or month name. Uh, and basically, then we took two modules, uh, implemented uh, one module was implemented using the same MRT library, and the second one was uh, created from the text search uh, library in Apple. And uh, we took these two libraries and checked their uh, completeness using this new uh, distorted uh, temporal market extraction uh, test data set. And all these things were uh, performed using a Wolfram Mathematica bibliography <coughs> tools. Uh, yes, uh, the service application was created and uh, which uh, allows us to separate the process, like to process the initial data set, separate uh, the dynamic information from the input, and uh, after running the text the temporal marker extraction tools, it helps us to evaluate and compare the quality of uh, these two libraries. So, also, this uh, service application. Carry out the distortion of the initial data sets. So basically, it is uh, everything we need. So, and besides working with the data set, besides working with the libraries, 
it also provides the functionality to connect to well, from data repository and uh, upload the initial data set, upload the uh, distorted data set, and uh, of course download it or upload the results so that everyone can see it. And uh, it's available in, in a public access. So next slide, please. And uh, here we go, creating a thematic block with temporal market analysis. Uh, functions are pretty simple. Uh, it's also usually two words like action and the noun. So basically to create a new thematic block, we need to use the create data within uh, function in the whole program mathematics. And uh, what it does, it creates a WR uh, thematic block, which we can like, infuse with the metadata about the semantics of the data. Uh, something like we store numbers or strings or dates, like in our case. Uh, after creating the block, we get the identifier, uh, which of course <coughs> identifies it and is used to carry out other operations like a port, retreat, or completion. Uh, next, please. Uh, here is the example of the result, and the link uh, there below is uh, yeah, it leads to the website where you can uh, briefly show the data set. So, as you can see, it has all the meta information who created, when created, and uh, like the latest updated uh, logs. Next, please. Of course, when uploading, uh, we have two options. We can add a single element. In this case, we use the data add function, or we can upload multiple elements at one time. And, uh, then, data being upload function is used. For retrieval, uh, we use data bin and normal functions. So basically, when retrieving, you also have an opportunity to configure which elements you want to see. So in this example, uh, we we downloaded all the elements of the test data set, and uh, it has like uh, 143. Uh, there we went for, through from one first to seven element with the step of one. The function call is pretty simple, and the results is here. All the elements shown. And next, please. And here we have the last seven elements of the initial data set. So basically, minus one, and you go from the you go backwards. Next, please. Uh, so how to use everything we discussed? To verify the function completeness of uh, temporal markers, extraction tools. Uh, yes. So the main steps are download the data set from a thematic block uh, that was presented before. Then we run the tested tools. For example, in our case, it was MNavit and uh, MRT libraries. But then uh, using the same service application developed in both Mathematica or any other tool. You can read the obtained extraction results, compare them with the wanted uh, result uh, provided from the metadata information in the test data set. And as an optional step, you can upload the obtained uh, results of comparison back to the .dr, uh, making their then public. And basically, that's all. Yeah, the example of uh, extraction. In our case, it was uh, fully in the line with the metadata, so all tools worked correctly. And uh, yes. as, a, as a conclusion, I could say that uh, temporal marker extraction tools were developed, also they were tested, and uh, the initial data set was uploaded to the global Wolfram data repository, and this act can be seen as an integration of the local knowledge base with the global Wolfram uh, knowledge base. So, basically, that's it. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh, questions, please? Questions, please? I have one question about uh, comparison stage. Yes. 
uh, do we need to, to do this comparison uh, manually or is it possible to implement this stage and do it automatically? Thank you for your question. Uh, it depends <laughs> on what your goals are. Uh, basically, we have a uh, service application developed mm -hmm. in Wolfram Mathematica. Uh, it's carried out the comparison step as well. So basically, it's like you run it and you get the result. Uh, but if you want to customize somehow the process, uh, so maybe add other distortions, then you should <coughs> either update the provided library or create your own. Same. Any questions? Thank you very much. Uh, part of the new model of uh, multivariate binary time series, specific of information and forecast. Please. Good afternoon, my name is Patrick Lee, uh, the title of my record. First model is multivariate time series, physical estimation, and forecast. Uh, the detection of economy uh, <coughs> leads to increase over sets in excessive rates of this case space with discrete time. The for capacity discussion as later in Austria, including the time series, I the examples of why the problem of the statistical analysis of the time series is uh casting. In the second analysis, the analysis of the proposed computer foundation review system. Next, please. And here are some models for distribution high depth dependencies in this game time series is convenient to market chain. That is the two dimensional linear speed market chain and DMC of order as. F or equal one, we find two probability space and the F D equal one, where you see the unknown variable defines the E component at time T. Uh, two, two cosmonics models. Uh, the first model in this case of conditionally dependent component, and the second one is of probability dependent component. Uh, case of conditionally dependent components. Uh, consider the case of conditionally independent components under the fixed S trajectory for one where the condition distribution of the is <coughs> under the fixed trajectory presented as almost fixed. There is a personal use model for weighted on the text function for one form, where F time given an absolutely continuous distribution function, or B, a count vector unknown and DC parameters, C Minus function and uh, J, the complicated column vectors, which finds the uh, least predictive ah, metric. Uh, we can do some assumption for function L, L for greater than 0 and less than 1. The Fm and the rest of L are quite continuously differentiable, and the rate of F was equal to 0 to infinity. Next is uh, the second model is. Uh, <coughs> Case of probability dependent component, as there's a case of probability dependent component, and this is the history in the formula one six. Where the condition of probability distribution on the three bits and the fixed three history then it has for the third component, form one seven, and other component, form one eight. Next please. Similar to four, we have due to personal model based on bias function, form one nine. Next. Uh, statistical estimation of parameters. Uh, we use frequency based estimation for parameters. Uh, let the absolute time series <coughs> of length t uh, uh, construct the assistant estimation for probabilities for them. Uh, some expressions for frequencies, case of conditional dependent component. And case of probability dependent on the 
do some connotations that we use further for what? As an idea of fixed basis symmetry is a fine uh, fine such uh, can be that uh, mm, that uh, function can be close to uh, to probability in L parameter. L parameter. And using the gradient, we get the estimation of parameter B for system. And with this result, we can uh, uh, we can uh, formulate the uh, one. Yes, uh, one is uh, an ABC is and the determinant of the matrix T defined by uh, certain and the determinant of D not equal to zero. And then we estimate for models for a nine <coughs> form uh, this information is consistent or can we see probability to the group uh, is connected? Uh, for the model A is a BS variant for this matter is connected. For model B is a BS variant for this matter is connected. Uh, this is true. Uh, Using this is true, we can formulate the uh, group. Term two under the condition of term one and assumption uh, for assumption uh, assumption five for function f as a basic method for b models four and nine pairs and actively normal distribution. Uh, this is called recursion. Uh, the substitution algorithm for optimal recursion for one step is determined by special expression seventeen. Uh, forecasting for the next step is similar to currently by uh, only the fragment x minus f in one is based by mu x f. Experiment with simulated data. We estimate the dependence of root mean square error for estimation of probability uh, e on number of configuration t, number of basis function m, and length of uh, on the the root are tested by figure one. On the figure one, you can see that with uh, increasing of time t, the error decreases. And with kind of data, we analyze the exchange rate of two uh, of the two currencies, uh, Russian ruble and. We have to obtain the evolution model. We analyze the recurrence and exchange rate. If the exchange rate increase, compared with yesterday, the brother is one. And the, if the exchange rate falls and remains the same, the brother is equal to zero. So we assess the probability of correctness for one step, the classic algorithm. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Complete the field on the last term of the norm and the uh, HTTP to be represented as false. Uh, we estimate the probability of correctness for one step for casting from our objective. The result are stated by figure two. Our conclusion the four results are pain in this record. Two cosmonic models of multiple very time series. Uh, Christian asymptotically normal the physical estimator of the parameters of the post models, uh, symptotic DS invariants of the parameter estimation, and of the risk of computer data analysis experiment on square time of uh, experiment for modulated and real physical data of the data. The result of the uh, result can be used to solve the applied problems of 
analysis described in the series in economy, genetic, and other fields. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Questions, please. Uh, I have a question uh, about the accuracy of such forecasts. Yes, do you, do you use a specific metric for uh, accuracy for, for forecast? Uh, how, how did you realize uh, this experiment using metrics? Yes? Uh, Maybe I skip, skip yes. some. Uh, we took uh, uh, data for two years currently. Mm -hmm. We uh, took 18% uh, of the data mm -hmm. and trained the uh, trained model, uh, estimate parameters, and uh, forecast, make forecast with these mm -hmm. uh, parameters. And uh, we estimate the uh, correctness of forecast. Absolutely. We estimate the number of uh, right, mm -hmm. uh, number of right uh, forecasting uh, divided by all. Okay. Thank you. Simulation of them, it is worth mentioning the tools I'm using to do that. So, 
So I'm, I've chosen the ES Tools framework that was developed in 2022 by German scientists. It provides a really easy user-friendly approach to random configurations where we can uh, define custom covariance models, do any kind of rigging, do additional random field iterations, uh, and do beautiful visualizations. Next slide, please. Here's a visualization that you can make with that real lines of code. Here you can see some geospatial uh, data on the plot of the globe of the Earth. Next slide. Uh, so now moving on to the main part of my talk. So I'll start by describing the model of data I'm using. So I'm going to be using the random field with a trend. So here we can see x of x of t is a random field. f of t represents a trend component. It is a deterministic function. And epsilon t is a Gaussian random field with zero mean. And when we look for the early hypothesis, we will hear about the brand component, the relation of the on the random field, which is represented by the relation function, and uh, the variance of the brand field. Next slide. So, as I said in the beginning, it is necessary to predefine some threshold to do special analysis. These thresholds are chosen based on the uh, appropriate levels of error rates. Here you can see the formulas that are used to define the popular discretion. Also, it's worth mentioning that uh, these uh, thresholds are just approximations since uh, getting the exact threshold threshold is a very challenging task. And it is proven that the observed uh, error rates for, for this threshold will be, the sum of it will be less. That's or equal to the expected some of the expected uh, error rates. Next slide. So here is an overview of the sequential probability ratio that is structured. So we define the statistics of probability ratio, which is basically a ratio of probability of given the sample under the alternative hypothesis to the probability of getting the sample under the null hypothesis. After that, we do the comparison, our comparison with the threshold. And if we do not receive any threshold, we continue the experiments, we generate new observation, and carry on until they stop. It is proven that special wheels ratio test will stop with probability of, of one. Next slide. So since we are working with Gaussian random fields, uh, it is quite simple to get the probability of uh, Compare the probability ratio since we can use the multivariate normal distribution uh, density function to calculate the probability. But this function uses uh, the vector of means and the covariance matrix. And to do that and to calculate them and to define them, we can use our hypothesis, meaning the mean it will equal to the value of the frame function since the random field has zero mean and the the variance matrix can be calculated using the relation function of the variance. So there are some limitations that I've encountered on this since I'm doing a computer modeling. So I'm modeling a finite random field. So I've shown the size of 100 by 100. And it's also worth mentioning that I'm using the uniform distribution to choose points from the random field. Here are my results. And so on the top row, the two tables represent the uh, parameters of my tests. So in total, I have four different experiments. So the first one tests uh, the same variance, tap tests the same variance in print component, but different correlation function. The second test tests the uh, Stationary random field to the non stationary to the random field with Gaussian. And the other ones in the last two tests compare the uh, random fields with random. So we can see that for the for the uh, first three tests, I used the accepted error rate of uh, 0.01. Uh, and here are my results. So as you can see, in every Area, the sum of the first 
frequency uh, is indeed less than second. And the last, the fourth, the fourth test was made just to make sure that there is dependency between uh, uh, the error rates and the the allowed, sorry, the assumed error rates and the actual error rates. So as you can see, when we put the error rates to equal to 0.2, the observed error rate also increases. So I will move on the slide. <coughs> Next slide. And that's it. So the conclusions are the following. So we we I developed a procedure to do sequential uh, discrimination of random fields that allows you that allows solving real world problems of discriminating random fields. And also I've uh, reached my negative I so this task is the best we can do for the Gaussian random fields and the future work of the Brain the why we develop the same test and for non Thank you for the attention. Do you have any questions? Okay. Thank you so much. Any questions? Um, I have a question about uh, real world, world problems. Yes. Uh, are you going to work with real problems and apply your uh, results? Well, I'm open to work with real world problems, but I don't have uh, like a source of data. I just read it there. So what type of data do you need for uh, the next stage of your experiment? For the next stage of my experiment, I... Well, depends. If I want to develop non, uh, uh, the test for non-gaussian random fields, I don't need any data, but if I want to improve this test and then for the experiment, I need to take some real-world problems and all the to them. So they give me the data, I give them the test. <coughs> I think it was fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, please, the next, uh, the next uh, presentation is the from the way, sir, to the right. Uh, so, so, you're you're right. Right. Uh, so, 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 Uh, my topic for today is uh, detection. Detecting anomalies in network traffic using machine learning techniques. Yes. Uh, and uh, I want to say that uh, with the constant uh, development of uh, modern technologies and uh, increasing uh, volumes of uh, data, network science is becoming uh, more complex and uh, vulnerable to uh, new types of uh, threats. Uh, and uh, in this context, uh, of course, detection uh, uh, of uh, anomalies in traffic becomes a uh, critical tool to ensure uh, the security and stability of information uh, system. I would like to uh, begin the presentation uh, of our uh, anomaly detection approach by describing, uh, describing uh, the data set, the uh, NSO KDD uh, data set uh, is uh, widely recognized. Uh, for testing and adapting uh, algorithms across uh, various network protocols. Uh, it contains uh, 43 features, including the uh, target variable. And uh, uh, the data set, the data set is uh, balanced uh, with 125 observations in the training set and uh, 22 and a half uh, in the test uh, set. Uh, for future selection, uh, uh, 
partitioned approach needed by uh, 15 uh, key numerical attributes, uh, enhancing uh, software performance by focusing on the uh, most uh, relevant aspects of uh, the data using uh, using L1 required uh, logistic regression and uh, to enhance uh, the robustness uh, of the data uh, of the um, data uh, preprocessing uh, pipeline. Uh, we acquired the uh, mean max scalar from scikit uh, uh, in Python. Uh, to uh, ensure they, they fall uh, within the range from uh, 0 to 1. Uh, and uh, additionally, uh, we utilized um, the mission information uh, uh, criteria to select uh, 30 informative uh, features from uh, uh, categorical, uh, categorical uh, features. And uh, resulting in total, we have uh, 40 five informative uh, features for our uh, further an analysis. Next slide, please. Uh, and uh, classification uh, models including uh, logistic regression, uh, SVM, uh, random forward uh, gradient boosting, uh, fully connected uh, neural network, and uh, LSTM uh, neural network were utilized. Uh, we used uh, cross validation grid. Uh, we conduct uh, cross validation grid uh, to determine the optimal uh, parameters for these models. Uh, and uh, to expedite the process, uh, we uh, uh, of the, the, uh, the uh, we test our algorithms on the data set containing uh, uh, twenty thousand uh, observations um, for training. And uh, uh, for the uh, fully connection uh, neural network, uh, which uh, consists uh, of uh, four uh, wires uh, with uh, 30, 60, and uh, 90 uh, neurons in, in uh, each uh, wires. Uh, perspectively, and uh, we use uh, the loop activation uh, functions and uh, uh, the point activation function uh, for output wire. Uh, dropout uh, wire, uh, dropout weight, uh, rate uh, was uh, uh, one uh, second, uh, and uh, uh, the train is uh, conducted for uh, 20. Uh, epochs with uh, by size of uh, 32 uh, using the uh, atom uh, of the minor. It is stopping with the uh, patient's uh, parameter of uh, uh, 5 is applied and the uh, worst function use uh, binary cross entropy uh, and the computation was uh, by performed on the uh, CPU. Uh, the LCM uh, was uh, the uh, similar uh, parameters, uh, and uh, uh, we, uh, we had the uh, optimized uh, atom by size is uh, 64, uh, and uh, the same number of average as uh, narrow uh, network. Uh, fully connected narrow network. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, analyzing this uh, table, uh, 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 we uh, can see that uh, support vector, uh, vector uh, method stands uh, out as the most effective classification approach, but uh, uh, it comes with a significant uh, trade-off. Uh, it is the most time-consuming among the evaluation uh, algorithms, and uh, based uh, on the training sample classification uh, results. Uh, the, the uh, indi uh, indication of potential uh, over brain. Additionally, uh, it's uh, convincible uh, that the data distribution in the data set, uh, in the in test uh, data set, uh, differs from the uh, training sample. 
and uh, splitting the training sample into uh, in training and validation success, uh, promising results uh, in the um, validation sample, suggesting the uh, need for careful uh, consideration of the data set distribution and uh, potential, potential uh, adjustments uh, to the training approach uh, to uh, integrate or training effects. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, in the uh, quest uh, to effic uh, efficiently uh, identify uh, anomalous traffic, uh, we uh, a comprehensive uh, range of uh, one class uh, classification of risk involved was uh, utilized. Uh, the one class uh, SVM uh, is it is a well established uh, established uh, technique. Uh, have a uh, special uh, role in uh, this experiment, and uh, uh, it was, uh, of course, designed uh, to uh, train on uh, legitimate observation, uh, spanning the entire uh, data set. Uh, this approach provided the algorithm with a uh, comprehensive uh, view of normal traffic uh, pat uh, patterns, uh, enabling it to establish a strong guideline. Uh, for anomaly detection. Uh, remaining algorithms was uh, uh, trained uh, on a uh, subset of uh, 20,000 observations, uh, which included only 5% uh, of the anomalous uh, nodes in our uh, data set. Uh, as shown in the table, we uh, can uh, see that uh, the one class support method uh, vector method uh, has the uh, highest uh, values of uh, machine learning metrics. And uh, next slide, please. Uh, ensemble of uh, classification algorithms uh, was including the uh, SVM, uh, K nearest neighbors uh, method, and the uh, one class uh, support vector. Uh, and uh, uh, these uh, algorithms, uh, algorithms were uh, meticulously chosen based on their strong individual uh, performances and uh, uh, to balance uh, their collective power, they were uh, combined into an uh, ensemble uh, model. In the pursuit uh, of uh, refining the ensemble model, uh, the innovative approach of stacking uh, class first uh, was uh, explored. Uh, however, a challenge arose uh, with the uh, one class uh, support method, uh, vector, um, uh, method uh, requiring a minimum number of uh, anomalous uh, observations in the training sample, making it uh, too comfortable for stacking. Uh, a creative solution was uh, found by uh, substituting uh, the one class SVM uh, with a random uh, forest cluster, uh, which provided to be an uh, excellent uh, fit and uh, sim uh, simplicity uh, complemented the existing assembly uh, methods. Uh, Atom uh, reviewed the performance of the uh, Taking based, based uh, approach, uh, it's apparent that the uh, decision to uh, substitute the uh, one class SVM with the random forest uh, might have uh, influence uh, or to the, um, our results. Uh, and uh, uh, efforts uh, we made uh, to extend the assembly by including uh, five classification, uh, classification models. Uh, instead of uh, three. Uh, uh, introducing random forest and gradient boosting on site the uh, existing three uh, methods. Uh, and uh, as we can see uh, uh, from the results in the uh, right uh, hand table, uh, increasing the number of uh, clusters in the ensemble to five. Uh, improve the classification performance of legitimate uh, and uh, anomalous uh, network traffic. Uh, uh, 
Uh, and uh, in conclusion, I uh, can say uh, if you uh, have a small uh, server, uh, of course, uh, you uh, uh, the uh, best way uh, you can uh, detect anomalies uh, is uh, machine learning techniques uh, because uh, precise uh, methods is uh, uh, very expensive and uh, uh, very uh, heavy by memory. Uh, so, is it clear if you do use the Pixel uh, network and standard basis uh, uh, if you want to investigate or protect real world uh, network? Uh, you, uh, you should start from the genes. Uh, you need it uh, very important details. For example, uh, uh, if it is uh, local network or local network, is the, 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 the data you use relevant for your case? Because you, so you should start from the genes of your own network. If you say that it's uh, only Abstract uh, problem. I have no questions. But if you you say that you uh, should protect or investigate real work with uh, demo details, what uh, kind of uh, uh, what features, for example, the number of packets in what time in the world? One hour, 24 hours, or months? Or what in the world do you uh, repeat? Right. Yes. Uh, you understand? Yeah, yeah, of uh, course. The uh, real time uh, of uh, uh, working by uh, approach. Uh, is uh, one uh, uh, is uh, ten minutes after after the connection. Uh, it's a real time. Uh, yes, uh, 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 у нас есть уже какой-то результат. То есть идет ли атака на наш сервер. То есть этого вполне достаточно, чтобы это предотвратить. Если вы взяли статистику по вашей конкретной методологии сети, вы знаете, что вот утром у вас такая вот зависимость, вечером она убывает, то взяв как бы ну, дистерцию плюс минус 27, могу вы можете сказать, что вы в данном режиме или вы в каком-то аномале. Да? Да, да, да. Поэтому... Ну ладно, мы будем. Это за счет того, что вы работаете в комбинированной сети. Я так понимаю, что у вас в каждом веке в 45, да? 45, да? Смотрите, у вас там входные входные свои сети. Можно? На нейросети там начинать. Вот у вас вот там предыдущие. Да, привет, привет. Да, у вас 45 визитов, а слоев 30 и ровно 60 90. Да. Почему 30? Ну, как-то уже все показали такое. Да, а и вот еще там момент, там тоже получается не надо было сказать, а не будет там. Правильно? Да, да. Первый, первый не висите или будут тоже использовать или выходные? Нет, нет. Сейчас там... Ну, что у вас написано? Меньше или меньше?